everybody it's playing baked and um, Minecraft feed the beast uh, well uh, <laughs> I'm going to yeah um, th things happened new map blah blah a uh, quick announcement I need to set up some things first and I'm going to clear a chunk and uh, uh, if you want to skip to the boring part, uh, just hop on to about 22 minutes into the video. Deal with it. Uh, okay, so the thing about this new map is that I'm not really inclined to uh, start from scratch all over again. So I have a cunning plan. First, let's do this. Second, I'll uh, talk about why I'm on this uh, little dinky island. Um, well, it's quite near the spawn. And I'm just far enough away that you uh, can't say it's not really chunk loaded. Bleep. Did you see a red dot? I did. Bleep. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Trying to uh, uh, take a talk while doing a bleep impression is impossible, apparently. Anyway, um, another change currently is that I'm uh, up and um, in creative and uh, I put game rule, uh, keep inventory on. So yeah we're in feed the beast and as i said that chunk is loaded we have mods hooray so i have a sort of plan <laughs> um let's try and see if i can uh, accomplish that so this chunk should be loaded Let's uh, first dig it out, <laughs> because why not? Uh, yeah, why not? So if we put one over here... And go down a bit, while I try to light my smoke at the same time. Uh, need my lighter for that. Oh, there. Wow. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, too far. Too far. That's not so good. Um, right. Nobody saw that. Okay. So, this is as far as we can safely go, I think, and it should still, oh, uh, the only thing is I completely lost my bearing, it's over there, right? Let's try that again. Cause it should be here. What? Oh, it's too long. Jeez. And that's why I brought along the lever. Slow down a bit. Yeah. Okay, fine. Let's try it from this side. We'll do it in two stages.
I'll uh, dig this out and I'll be right back. Okay, we got things going. And uh, we'll just give this a sec. Actually, I only have to increase the power output of the uh, chibi energy things. I also didn't set up the second one yet because else this would be a bit annoying to get to. Oh, come on, get on. Right. So this one's going actually okay. that one going as well. these ones yet, but why not? Okay, now it's flying. The uh, other one is just quite a lot larger. <laughs> And I'm not too worried about the items yet, because uh, I'm going to make something fancy that will uh, get all the good stuff. And I uh, need some space to make it, and uh, I need the uh, chunk loaded thingamajig. So, yeah, that's uh, why we're doing this. <laughs> so, the only other thing is I'm temporarily probably going to put in uh, some fancy smooth walls because why not and uh, I'll just use these machines real quick for that and uh, I'll get back to you when I have it set up in just a moment Yeah, it's uh, getting close. Hooray! It only took a minute or two. But still enough to skip. <sighs> oh, come on. I thought I gave these guys enough juice, but... Okay. It's an entire chunk, so I guess it's fair enough. Because for small, small buildings or something, if you just want a uh, small, of a, uh, yeah, it's a small, nice cube. It's it's quick and easy to uh, get. You don't need insane amounts of power that uh, I'm putting in, but yeah, I just need to apply a, uh, a pattern. And it will do such things. But I guess you probably know that by now. Unless you wouldn't be watching this video. Um, 
I mean, I'm not going to uh, even attempt uh, to give a tutorial on this. Uh, right about now. Uh, let's see. Fancy stone. Oh, hang on. I can just turn this clock. Oh. Right. Okay. We'll go to the uh, new fashioned way. Um, Yeah, good. So load two and then clear. And give myself a bit of stone. And the other one as well. <coughs> and I'll be right back when I remove the floor and uh, put back the wall in or something. And before I was even done <laughs> filling the uh, first one, the, uh, the second one, the first one already ran out of stone. So. These guys are pretty fast in terms of building, but yeah, for clearing an entire chunk, it's not blistering fast, but that's great. Don't get me wrong. Why is there a golden hoe in there? Okay, that slowed down. And that stopped. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. I'll be right back. Well, I wouldn't exactly say ta-da, but... Um, it's coming along quite nice. Um, I overlooked a spot here, but that's not too bad because I set this up in advance and I can put lame. I can put that there and uh, fill this up as well. Just need couple more stacks probably yeah it goes through it quite fast <laughs> that's for sure oh okay no okay yeah it stopped Good. Um, hang on. Okay. That was probably not too good that I picked up all that junk, but whatever. Oh, one too much, but that's okay because there's probably one more around the corner here somewhere. Or not. There is this thing, which will probably start removing the top, the excess at the top anyway. And um, there we go, one empty chunk. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay. Um, now I'm probably first going to do um, a bit of an experiment because I'm not exactly too sure how tall I can make these guys. Oh. 
let's uh, swap the inventory around a bit and uh, I'll need a couple more things and I'll set something up real quick and uh, I'll be right back so welcome back to my workshop or uh, well it's a quick and dirty workshop uh, this is shut off oh, hold on. Um, let's do that as well uh, yeah this is uh, well I'm at 31 my eyes are at 32 so this is exactly at 30 which makes it nice and convenient to do any sort of guesses with so what I'm going to do is plunk down one of those there and um, a couple of these on top a lot to be exact let's try 25 first oh just when music starts um, so yeah I've uh, set it up a bit uh, and let's give it a go oh dear hang on that's not good huh be right back yeah I noticed how I didn't have any panels on the sides or covers and it was uh, <laughs> going to attach to the battery and I didn't want it to do that so I paused it for a second for that um, but it's working fine with uh, 25 of these things and uh, let's see where this stops Ooh. Uh, let's not attach it while it's going So this is Oh, this still works. It's probably going to move any second, so I'm waiting for a moment. Let's see if this still works. It does. It does. Okay, that's interesting. Is it going to move? I built a really tall one earlier and it didn't work quite as well so hmm let's think about it okay um, as far as size goes I'm going to start from the bottom as well so I'll be back in a moment when I uh, have something better worked out actually um, be right back okay I had to make uh, make sure and uh, I went out about a thousand blocks and put down a uh, timer on the floor and again we see it blinking on the wireless map so yay it seemed to work and uh, yeah good So 
So this should pop us right back. Not too sure if I want to set my spawn point here as well, but oh well. Hey, Andy. Um, okay. So actually, I may need a slight bit of space, except that I already don't want to go down five, but I do want to get the level five as well. So I can pretend that I found a nice empty section like this and move the entire machine block by block by block and kept adding on stuff and managed it. But yeah, if necessarily, I'm going to dig down one more so I can actually uh, reach onto the panels uh, properly and uh, get all the loot. Yay! Oh, too much. I'm going to put back uh, a lot of this bad rock again, but yeah, just for now, not too worried about it. Good. So. I want to have frames like here, suppose. Come on, get, get rid of these. Say, for example, I want these. I need to put covers all over this. Uh, yeah. So, let's just get a bare platform first. And, uh, I don't know, do I want to make it three wide? Yeah, maybe. That could be cool. Okay, so what I actually need to do, let's uh, not worry about space um, at all. Okay, what I really need is a bunch of these guys. And actually, because I have it as such anyway, I'll have the support frames up here. Huh. And what I really want is something smart against lava and water. So what I actually am planning is putting a bunch of these guys along as well. So we'll have water just in case we run into lava and we'll have ice just in case we run into water. I hope I said that right. Um, so yeah, this is from 5, so I'll make it from 5 to... Uh, 35, I suppose. And... Uh, yeah, I'll fill in the blanks a bit and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're a bit further along right now. Sorry about the sound. And, um, yeah, I, um, I also added a frame motor here. <laughs> wow, you wouldn't say. And, uh, 
if we put this on the same frequency it should pulse every 20 seconds or so if I didn't remove it over here uh, so yeah let's not get too carried away every 10 or so and a frequency transmitter set to the same frequency it should yeah move that so what do you think happens if I connect it upon itself uh, so let's do something like this real quick uh, oh crap just to be oh shoot Oh, yeah, it couldn't move any further anyway. Oh, dang it. Um, good point, me. Be right back. Okay, so slight redesign. Um, these are still the tube frames. Um, if I open this up, all the uh, white ones are uh, connected with that. And I just added one here and this one on the top and on the bottom are needed so uh, I can still have the three here and three there. So yeah, just pointing that out. Let's put those back in quickly. And what we now need to do, turn this around and put one on top and turn that around. So what this will do, <coughs> uh, this this motor will push that one forward, and that motor, which currently is this motor, that motor will push this forward, and because this is connected to that motor it will effectively slide under it and rinse and repeat the thing is we need to be a bit careful about this because uh, yeah I don't want to move it too far. So I moved it once now. Oh, actually, I can probably put one over here. Lever. or lever or whatever the balls it is okay so if I put it nice um, I also made a connection here well from from this row of yeah it's a bit hard to explain but it it goes outside here uh, and well one block and then f 
it connects from this side. So I have this nice little walk area where I can access the tubing. And I forgot one. Good job. Let's quickly check if I didn't forget another one. But yeah. Uh, entryway. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's... Do something about that. Cool. I need an item, but I uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Be right back. Okay, it was a combination of jacketed wire and uh, red alloy wire. Um, which again is okay. Um, it lights up all these tubes and I'm going to put something in front of them. If you haven't figured that part out by now. So, be right back. Yeah, in my um, in my test setup, I <laughs> in my test setup I uh, had it set so um, so it would all go into a ender chest and on. Uh, the other side, uh, all the cobble would be f sorted out first and uh, sent straight to the void pipe. But I tried for a few minutes to see if I could figure out the uh, pipes to split all the cobble up into two different ender chests, but I'm not too familiar with uh, the pneumatic pipes, so yeah gave up on that. Um, so it should technically work. Hello Mr. Creeper. Oops. <laughs> That's a bit silly. Okay, um, might as well try the timer again, but I don't want to have the, sim the timer set to a ridiculous interval. So let's see what this does for a few minutes. Ooh. Uh, yeah, that's what it does. Okay. Um, so that's one, and I basically need to duplicate this once more, at least. Um, yeah, a couple blocks up. And I should be at 35 right now, so if I do exactly the same, uh, I will be above the water line and might be able to chew into some extreme biomes when I uh, find them, but I'm quite sure it's mostly water for at least a thousand blocks, so good on diamonds, but yeah. Okay, um, I'll get to that and I'll uh, be right back. Okay, here again, uh, without the uh, Cychlori, what is Cycorium ice and Cycorium water. Uh, I don't know which way around, but yeah, oh, one too much, obviously. But yeah, you can uh, you can you can see it's one here and then. Uh, this one has the other three like that. Um, 
let's do you let's do the ice up front here because we have less chance of hitting lava anyway um, and because it's the easier one right now anyway oh oh come on That should do it. <laughs> oh, too slow. There's an easier way. Right. Almost there. Uh, skip one. There. Okay. Well, I'm uh, going to get the platform for solar panels ready and I'll be right back. Right. So the only extra thing that I did was um, give it a nice thing on top so any um, I don't know any sand or gravel will, will not end up on top of the solar panels so let's see what this does oh okay he moved uh, let's sync them up because you never know I think we need that one actually. Let me just do that. Huh. Are you guys stuck already? That's not cool. It's a bit hard to see like this. Okay. Um, I probably overlooked the panel here or something I don't know I'll, uh, I'll debug it for a second and I'll be right back oh I think I know the chest is full the chest is full because I haven't set up that part <laughs> um, good job okay so um let's try that okay okay seems to uh, work just fine actually and uh don't be missed that by this giant wall here because it uh ends quite abruptly um so it's a little bit higher as the uh, the, the floor here, but uh, over here, it's already a lot lower. And as you can see, the sea level is significantly lower. So if we stand around here for a bit, I think we'll see something funny. Not too sure. Well, I'm too sure, but 
it's uh, I'm uh, I'm not too sure about how long it's going to take. Oh, there it is. Okay. Cool, cool. Slowly but surely. There we go. Let's give it another 20 seconds or so. And um, what's really going to be interesting is when it's uh, going to hit the water. Okay. We'll return for that in just a minute. Uh, I'm quickly going to show you what I did with the uh, items. So there's an ender chest here. Everything gets dumped into it. And on every side there's a uh, wooden pipe with a archic gate. Oh, great name guy. Um, and they're all set to uh, energy pulsar and they're all connected to a diamond pipe which is not a good idea to smack with another pipe but they're all c uh, set up so cobblestone, sand, gravel and dirt all go to the void and uh, there's another ender chest on uh, three corners because uh, I'm using one diamond pipe for each two. Anyway, uh, so yeah, they end up in uh, three ender chests, and from here I just temporarily dump it into this pretty much. Oh shit. Oh well, doesn't matter. Uh, Hang on, that does matter. <laughs> Maybe I should have put the pipe from the bottom. Okay, uh, let me do that quickly and I'll be right back. Yeah, that diamond sh should have gone in there. What? Oh, that's aluminum. Okay. Um, oh, well. That's just a minor snag. And uh, let's see what's happening over here. There we go. It will be more interesting to see when it's over there. I'll uh, promise you that. Cool. Okay, I'm um, going to sort out this pipe thingamajig. It's not too bad. Um, but yeah, now I'm starting to get material to actually start a uh, world here hmm I'm not too sure if I'm going to make this into Siri but uh, if I do at least I have a means of getting material um, because I already set that up in the old world so uh, yeah I thought it was a good idea to set up something in the new world, uh, sort of using all the items that I had, uh, although don't pin me down on it, I probably could have made this, but yeah, whatever, screw it, doesn't matter, um, at least I think, I could have also just put down a quarry everywhere and uh, this is a 
uh, a fun different way I think so yeah for now I'm going to wrap up this episode actually it's probably two episodes but yeah uh, no actually uh, I'll be back in a few minutes when it's over there Let's um, admire our results. All the way down here, uh, I'm still working on a good storage setup, but um, the, uh, the, the main drop-off chest is getting emptied by three pipes. Um, and uh, in just unsorts it uh, it all into here and these two uh, are set up to extract a couple of items uh, just the regular stuff that I wouldn't want to lose and this is the stuff that would otherwise uh, fill up the inventory of this chest way too fast so um, I got those sorted out and uh, I put some of the stuff in here and uh, yeah that's what we're looking for uh, we saw that actually let's go up a bit Remember that little beach here? Um, yeah. And I think I should be wearing, yeah, I uh, cheated that in, so I could do this. <laughs> oh, sorry. So, as you can imagine, uh, I let it run for a, a bit, and it's, uh, it's managed to get all the way over here. This is um, a good fair amount away from the base, that's for sure. Not too far because first I had it on uh, only about 20 seconds a cycle and uh, yeah I'm going to leave it running but I'm putting it on one tick per five or six minutes or so and uh, I wonder what uh, what results will be in the tests tomorrow I guess uh, okay so yeah I just wow found a ravine or two um, no but yeah I <laughs> I wanted to show the uh, intermediate result of my little crafty work uh, those uh, those water and ice blocks from Psycraft are amazing uh, it's it's not perfect because I spotted a few things but it was like a water block here and it would seep out but f for the most part there is no water whatsoever and I saw a bit of obsidian so um, I think it must have gone through lava somewhere, but I don't know. I haven't uh, I haven't seen a wall of obsidian on the side. I think. Oh yeah, uh, there are a few patches here and there. That's cool. So that that part works as well. I'll uh, I'll bet there's lava behind here. Yep. Cool. That works flawlessly. Amazing. Okay. 
so yeah it's probably uh, still the same and this is empty yep 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 um, so I had this little control platform way up here I don't know why I should really move it down but yeah uh, six minutes Just one little last glance at how far we're we've come. Uh, let's see. This is at minus one sixty or so, and the base is at okay. So it's uh, around. 450 blocks that it traveled so far. And that's pretty cool. Speed run. Okay. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.